The fight for the release of the draft constitution seems to be far from over. On the part of the campaign by the CSOs, they seem to have hit an uphill battle as President Michael Satas told government leaders to ignore calls on the constitution maintaining that Zambia has a constitution in place. Don't talk about the constitution because when you are taking oath you are talking about the constitution. And when people talk about the constitution we just ignore them. But what does this mean to the main stakeholders who own the Zambian constitution, the ordinary Zambian people? But it, I'm very surprised up to now that we don't know when the government is going to give us the constitution. It is very worrying otherwise. The constitution was promised to be given to, Zambian, to the Zambians at an appointed time, and that was 90 days. But very unfortunately, until now, no one knows where we are going. The statement by the president during Wednesday's swearing-in ceremony means that Zambians and other CSOs should find another strategy to resolve the impasse on the constitution-making process. The president swore in former Quito town clerk Ali Simwinga as Zambian ambassador to Egypt. Others sworn in are Robert Kasezia and Pride Kabuso's policy analyst at cabinet office. Alexander Mustogotone, Movie TV News in Lusaka.